It's my incredible honor and privilege to be able to introduce you to this wonderful woman who, as a historian, she was a history major and I was too, uh, she understands the significance and the incredible times we are in and what this means coming towards this next election. This is a woman that started as a Girl Friday in a real estate office who then went on to run board meetings on Monday and now, Wednesday, Girl will be November 3rd. Our next U.S. Senator, please welcome. in her time in Washington, D.C. And while now, 
35 days away from a general election. She wants to convince the people of California that she is concerned about middle class ta tax hikes. Where was she when she voted against the 2001 tax cuts, against the 2003 tax cuts? And where has she been for the last six years when everyone in Washington has known all along that on January 1, unless something is done, we will face the largest tax increase in our nation's history. Every single middle class family in the state of California will be faced with $1,600 in tax increase, and our family farmers will face a 55% death tax. Where was she? Where was her plan to help the people of California? What has she done to get water to our farmers? <laughs> Sir. It's the smell. In fact, she's done worse than nothing. She has stood and prevented the water from being turned back on. She has voted against amendments that have, would have turned the water back on. She has managed to kill Diane Feinstein's amendment that would have turned the water back on. We must be good stewards of our planet. You know that. We must protect our environment. This is one of the most beautiful spots in the world. But as much as I care about fish and flies and frogs, and they are all endangered in the state of California, I care more about our family. And who can blame that woman from saying, please don't forget about us? How can someone claim to be fighting for every job when she says that the stimulus bill is working. The stimulus bill, 810 or so billion dollars of American taxpayer money, and what has happened since that stimulus bill passed? Well, we're spending $2 million photographing exotic ants. We're doing that with stimulus money. But in fact, our unemployment rate in this great state has gone from 10.2% the day that stimulus bill was passed to 12.4% today. And Barbara Boxer, you may not know this, but Barbara Boxer, see this big sign, this green sign, the American Recovery and Reinvestment Act. Barbara Boxer worked really hard to make sure that we spent taxpayer money putting those signs around the nation, $10,000 a sign. I think you would have rather had that money in your pocket. $10,000 a sign. In the, last, in the last two years alone, our debt has gone from 10.6 or 7 trillion to 13 trillion dollars in two years. We have in this state 23 counties with unemployment above 15 percent. We have 12 metropolitan areas with unemployment above 15 percent. We are crushing small businesses so that they are going out of business. We are driving jobs out of this state and out of this nation with the tax policies that Barbara Boxer supports. <clears throat> and while all that has been going on in this great and golden state, in Washington, D.C., we have added 100,000 new federal government bureaucrats in the last 12 months. <laughs> This is what Barbara Boxer has done for the people of California. And here is the truth. When she talks about she is fighting for jobs, ladies and gentlemen, the only job she is fighting for is her. <laughs> These elections are a consequence. These elections are important. I have never run for public office before, but I believe our founding fathers intended ours to be a citizen government. I think it is what of, by, and for the people means. And I have said that I will serve two terms only because 12 years is enough time to get something done. I believe we must truly 
we start funding for every job? This is the 21st century. We compete in a global economy. Any job can go anywhere. That's the hard truth of the century. We Americans can compete and win, but we can't do it with both hands tied behind our back. That's right. right. So now we have, instead of crushing our small businesses, our family businesses, our entrepreneurs, which is what we are doing today, we have to give them a helping hand. Let's give every small business owner a two-year payroll tax holiday for every unemployed worker they can do. Let's give them a five-year tax holiday if they will invest here and hire American workers. 